Hi Scorpio. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your love monthly. Now it is going to run from October 20th to November 20th, 2016. I know I said that they were going to be up on the 15th. Um, but that just did not happen. But then the more I thought about it, this works better because I, I really would, especially the Love Monthly, bringing the readings closer to Christmas. So that seems to work. You guys are going to get it early, though. Um, because you guys are second. We are coming up on your birthday month. Which means you guys will be first all the time until your birthday time ends. My new subscribers, welcome. Really, thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I say it all the time. I absolutely love doing this for you guys. It is my passion. I really wish I could do it full time and give up my house cleaning service. But it's just impossible right now. But I would love to do that. Um, what else did I want to say? So, um, I hope that the water elements on the table are accommodating for you guys right now. I think I already showed you the, the dolphin globe um, from Florida. I did add on the wall a starfish that came from Mexico. This came from Punta Canta. Pretty right. I always have so much to say to the water signs, especially Scorpio and Virgo. I realized this week, even with the private readings, which I need to touch on that too. Nice little angel for the morning, court, morning card oracle. So I hope that's good for, for now. I just really grabbed them all out of my curio. Somebody did comment today on Scorpio's weekly, a fishbowl. You know, with one fish in it, and I'm thinking a blue one, you know, to represent, you know, you guys. Um, but, uh, I like that idea. So, I realized this week that a lot of my subscribers are Scorpio and my sign, which is Virgo. And, um... I did a lot of um, six card readings for five of you, I believe. And out of the five of you, because I haven't been able to respond back, but out of the five of you, three of you now want a 10 card. I don't want you guys to go and pay on my PayPal until you email me. Message me on my Facebook page um, because I feel bad, you know, and I really am considering taking that spread down because I don't, I don't particularly like it. It leaves you hanging and a lot of my readings have come from Scorpio and Virgo this week. So that's why I'm touching base on that with you guys. I also want to say too for, you know, especially for my new subscribers because I do, I gain a lot every day. So I, you know, those of you that have been following me since day one, you know, fast forward. I hate, you know, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but I do gain a lot every day, like by 70 to 80. That's a lot. And I'm grateful. I'm, I feel blessed. I'm just, I'm humbled at how... I mean, this, this, this coming to YouTube, you know, that, that reader hooking me up to YouTube, giving, putting that thought into my head to come to YouTube. I would, I don't know if I would have ever thought about doing that, but, uh, it has excelled, it, it, it just, it has excelled bigger than I could have even possibly dreamed, really. I mean, dreams do come true. They do. Okay, my new subscribers. 
if this reading does not resonate with you in any way take from this reading what you can and leave the rest check your moon or your rising sign even your venus sign you could get that information at cafeastrology.com those of you that would like a private reading with me my contact info will be you know below this video um I think that's all you got I got for you guys okay I'm gonna use today the witches tarot by Ellen Dugan any questionable cards that I feel need clarifying we're gonna use the steampunk tarot by Barbara Moore three cards from the romance angels deck by Doreen Virtue and one Oracle card by Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland. Okay, Scorpio. Now, I have already prayed over your cards. Um, you know what? We're just going to... A couple more. I'll cut them. And we'll go from there. That's perfect, actually. Couldn't have asked for better. Okay. Four, oh, sorry. Six of Cups. There's you, Scorpio. Thinking about somebody from the past. Ace of Swords. Beautiful. Major Arcana Temperance. Okay, so Major Arcana cards. Universe. Speaking to you strongly. They are highly spiritual cards. Um, trying to tell you something. Promote something. Make you aware of something. In your life. And the Ace of Cups. Two Aces. Well. Okay, Scorpio. Okay. All right, I already know. We're definitely going to clarify just because I'm not really... I mean, two aces in a reading. Man, we'll get to that later, but that's beautiful. We're gonna, we're definitely going to clear this, clarify the Six of Cups and Temperance. But let's go through the cards. So, the Six of Cups. It's a card of innocence, childhood, it is acting kindly, charitable. Sharing what you have, receiving a gift, feeling blessed. It's also a card, and it is the Scorpio card. I mean, it, it is really any water element, so Cancer, Pisces, but typically Scorpio. So I already see this card as, you know, th this card is a, a card of, you know, harmony, reconciliation, old friends, good things coming back from the past. So, you know, it could be somebody that you had a relationship with in the past, somebody you worked with in the past. It could be anybody. Anybody. But you're definitely thinking about somebody from the past. And I see that very clearly here with the Ace of Swords being your next card. Um, you know, the Ace of Swords is, you know, Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Let me say this too. Like you know, with the Six of Cups. You know, whoever you're thinking about in the past, it could be any sign. Um, you know, it could be in their Venus. Like, 
okay, here's my example, okay, that I usually give. My, I'm a Virgo, but my Venus sign is Scorpio. So, it could be a fire sign, you know, with temperance here representing typically Sagittarius, but, you know, you know what I mean. I mean, that would be a stretch. I would, yeah, that would be a stretch. But you know what, you get what I'm saying. Okay, so, the Ace of Swords. And this is air only, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this card is of mental focus, fortitude, justice, truth. You know, it's, it's a card of... Um, action, thinking clearly, analyzing a situation, applying logic and reason, you know, having fortitude, being, you know, fa you know, facing problems. You know, maybe being undaunted by setbacks, finding the strength to overcome you know, definitely resolving some sort of situation. But keep in mind, too, you know, every single ace in a deck, in a 78 tarot deck, only has four aces. And you you guys pulled two, which is, at four cards, I mean, I'm, in, I'm, I'm impressed. It's exciting. I mean, my Venus sign is in Scorpio, so, I mean, I, I like it. Um... You know, it's, but they're auspicious in every aspect of your life. And always, always a new beginning somewhere. In some way, shape, or form, in some way in your life, there's a new beginning. You know, it's, it's a card of righting a wrong, doing what is right. You know, be, you know, taking responsibility, you know, just cutting through the bull too and, and, you know, cutting, cutting through the confusion. But, uh, but, you know, I always see this card as, most of the time, as a seed. A seed of clear understanding. You know, I hate when that happens. The thought goes right at it. Okay. A seed of clear understanding has been planted in your life. Even if you don't recognize it yet, you know, it could have been a seed that was planted in the past. Um, you know, and that, and that could go back six years ago. You know, from this, from, from yesterday to, you know, back to six years ago. Um, you know, it's, you know, with this, with, with, with this ace also, you know, it's, It, it's a card that you know your life you know to open your eyes to see you know how it, it, it's clean sharp energy could work for you you know think about your situation objectively You know, look for situations that are unjust, confusing, and, and, you know, try to resolve to set them right with this card. You know, it, it is a card of 
there's so much to this card of having a clear understanding, you know, finding out the truth about something. You know, some sometimes this card could even, you know, stand for a challenge, you know, that could test you in some way. You know, life never really does go smoothly for long. And, you know, sooner or later, some sort of hurdle does show up. You know, and this, this ace can tell you when it is coming. You know, so you could face your challenge, whatever it is, with courage. You know, honesty. A firm resolve in in every challenge you know there is an opportunity you know I mean the card is of success decisions new beginnings I mean it is a beautiful card it's just it's not like the ace of cups okay it's just a card of really I mean you I don't need to tell Scorpios this. I mean, and uh, listen, I know how it is. And, and Scorpios are that way. You know, you're you're analytical and and please don't take any of it personally. You know, I'm just telling you what I see and, and what I really think about this reading. And overthinkers I told you before, my Venus sign I is in is in Scorpio. And for being a Virgo, grounded, nurturing, stable, feet plant on the ground, I do overthink a lot. And and that's that's a Scorpio trait. You overthink. But which isn't a bad thing. But I feel like with this ace of cups being at the end of this reading, and we didn't even clarify yet, that um, that you're not in the moment, you're not maybe in the present. You know, you're thinking too far into the into the future and you're not, I'm not saying all of you are, but maybe just not focused on the right here and the right now. You know, and with this card, you know, it is, it's both. It's, it's success, decisions, new beginnings, and it relates not only to just love, but in work as well. It is a love reading. I prayed over the cards as far as love. So, in love relationships, it means new beginnings in love. It could be new relationships. And in relationships that have been difficult, you know, if you're married in a long-standing relationships, it does, it, it, it is a card of triumph over past obstacles in your love life. For those of you that are married, for those of you that you know are single or are just in a relationship, these two cards really do tell me that I really do think you're 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 thinking hard about somebody from the past real hard okay now your next card is temperance okay so temperance typically Sagittarius fire element and this card is all about you know moderation balance, angelic healing, angelic guidance. 
you know, reconciliation in relationships, okay? You could reach a new level of trust, you know, in relationships that are new, marriages. But it could also mean that you are potentially dealing with a volatile situation in love, in a volatile situation. I guess that's why I went on, it is why I went on so much about the Ace of Swords because you're probably, I'm feeling like, you're probably involved with a fire, but we're gonna clarify that you are involved with the fire sign but, you know, again, this being you, Scorpio, well, any water element, Pis Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, wanting to offer your love to someone else, who could possibly be a water, a water sign, sun, moon, or rising, you know, doesn't matter. And neither does gender. So, I mean, whoever this person is for you. Definitely a fire sign element. But, you know, and if it, you know, if it's a potentially volatile situation, you know, with this card in, in a love reading, you definitely need to temper your thoughts, your actions, find more balance and harmony. You know, just try to find, you know, a solution. And those of you that are married, with the Ace of Cups, everything is fine, I feel like. Okay, so now we have the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups, I mean, I could go on and on about this card, too. I mean, it's emotional. It's, it's emotional force. It's intuition. It's intimacy. It's love. It's a love offering. Okay, these two Aces together, okay, the Ace of Cups, with the Ace of Swords, okay? In this relationship, whatever it is for you, this one from the past that you are thinking about, you know, your marriage, your, whatever it is. It is deep feelings, intimacy, compassion, love, intelligence, reason, Justice, truth, clarity, perseverance. I mean, this, this, this card, I mean, drink. Your cup is overflowing with love. It is, you know, for some of you, you know, that are married, just getting in touch with your feelings letting your heart lead the way, expressing deep feelings, you know, it's just emotional fulfillment. It brings you joy, happiness, peace, love. It's establishing a bond with one another getting close to someone, you know, going to a deeper level, just falling in love, okay? So, Scorpio, you guys are all over this reading, okay? You know, with this card too, uh, love is of the essence, okay? 
And you definitely need to trust your feelings. Especially, I'm feeling as if it has to, if it has to do with this. That's really, that is really positive. Really positive. Because... It just feels positive, I guess. But we're going to clarify. <coughs> Excuse me. I have been doing so many readings. And I'm amazed. Did I mention this before? How I amazed I am at all of my... Um, I know most of my subscribers come from Scorpio and Virgo. And I think that is just so cool. You know, because I am a Virgo and my Venus sign is Scorpio. Okay, so we are clarifying. The Six of Cups. And Temperance Spirit for Scorpio. These fell out, so they're going on the Six of Cups, because that's where I was going first. Scorpio. This is Fire Element, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but also Scorpio. And that is you wanting to give a proposal. Oh, wow, four cards fell out for you for this. Holy, They all fell, fell face up, too. The Chariot, Major Arcana, Success, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. And this star. Guys, this person from your past is like your wish come true. All right, let, let's just finish here. Okay, spirit. Temperance. Scorpio. Temperance. Okay, that's it. Three swords. Sorry. Major Arcana Judgment. And the Five of Wands. Scorpios. And I could definitely tell already that I really, that there's definitely, some of you are thinking about ending something for a karmic relationship. And it's this person from the past. All right, but let me, let's just take it one step at a time. Okay. Let's start with the Knight of Wands. Okay. Now, that's a proposal. You know, Scorpio, this is you wanting to offer a proposal. Um, to this person from the past. You know, and you're feeling full of energy in life. You know, you know, all right, so those of you, let's, let me, let me, let me, um, those of you that are married, okay, with this card, as a couple, you know, you're just full of energy and life. You know, just, I feel like, you know, things are, things are going good with this card. It's just, 
a card of action, movement, as an energy, okay? Um, all right, Scorpio. I'm not going to get into too much with this card. Because the way I see it is, and the way it is, now, it could go either way, you know, it's either you or the other person, but I, I, I strongly feel like it's you. Because the other person, you're, I, I, you're ending something with a fire sign. Okay, those of you that are single and don't have anybody, there is a strong possibility that somebody from the past could be surfacing this month, okay? And it's probably the Knight of Wands. It is the Knight of Wands. What a proposal. So you know this person, definitely. And he is Aries... Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or Scorpio, okay? You know, he's full of energy in life, never afraid to try something new. You know, he's definitely sexy, maybe a little too sure of himself. Always a charmer, though, definitely. Um... It could be shallow and, and, you know, like thoughtless, but a charmer. You know, and definitely, you know, really come in with this love offering. You know, when it's balanced, brand new beginning. And with the clarifying cards on that, I mean, the... It's your wish come true. You know, it's it's success. So if you're single and you're looking for a relationship, I think it's coming for you. For sure. Okay. Those of you who are in a relationship, Okay, let's, let's, all right, so you definitely want to make some sort of proposal. I, I truly feel uh, that that's a definite. And now we have the chariot, which is usually cancer. You guys being Scorpio, it's likely that this, that cancer is in your moon rising, your Venus sign. And this card is victory, progress. Progress at a fast rate of speed. You know, it's it's a time of determination, focus. You know, you could take a trip. You know, you'll definitely triumph. You know, in, in difficult in difficult circumstances, but but it, once you start moving, you need to see. I picked that up on you with you guys before, like. Is a, and I, you know, I swear this this seems close to the weekly or the monthly. I'm not really sure, but I post a lot of readings. I don't remember all of them, but I can barely remember my own. But this, um, I think I do remember telling you guys like, there's a couple of these commented on that. I don't, and I'm not, I don't mean like, I'm not seeing that you guys are, some of you just aren't ready to move yet. And, you know, and I think really that's why the Wheel of Fortune is here for you guys. I mean, this is a beautiful card. 
You know, it is a card of a twist of fate. It's a card of destiny, a turning point, movement, personal views. I'm seeing it really as this person from your past, like, is your destiny. Like, and... But you're thinking hard on this. But it is going to be victory. It is victory. You want to make this proposal to this person, whoever this is from the past. And, but probably because you're... Well, we'll get to these cards. But you guys do want to move on. A lot of you do. But this card is Major Arcana. I love this card. You know, it's a card where, you know, we experience chance events that appear to just be an accident. Although they, they are part of a great plan. You know, with this card, it's unexpected encounters, twists of fate. You know, you can't predict surprises. You can only be a, be a ma yeah, be made aware of them. Um, and one is definitely circling around you guys. You know, it's it's um, a card of change in direction. You know, for some of you, you could repeat the same old cycles. You know, like I was saying before, with not moving. Um, but really, when this energy does arrive, you definitely feel life speed up. You know, opening up to luck, things turning around in your favor. It's, it's, it's a fortunate surprise turn of events, you know? And if things, have you been on the shitty side of this, side of the, oh my God, I've just done so many readings, I'm stumbling over my words. Sorry, guys. If you have been on the shitty side of this wheel, it's about to spin in your favor. So if you're worried, maybe that's what all the thinking is about doing this. Contacting this person, letting this person in. Don't be. It ends in love, really. And then you have the star card. Beautiful card. Hope, guidance, inspiration. Um, you know, creativity. It is your wish card. You know, and in relationships, you're, with this card, you are destined Destined with the destiny card to be with someone. It is time to find your soulmate. That is what this card represents in relationships. It's and they all fit together on, on this card. It's gonna happen fast. It will be successful. as soon as you make the proposal. Okay. Now that's that card. That is, guys, really, this is beautiful. Beautiful. And I, you know, it is beautiful if you want it. Because with temperance here. So those of you that are thinking about someone from the past and wanting to reconnect, reconcile, water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, whoever this person is in the past for you, it's a karmic relationship. Like this is meant to be, okay? That's a definite. With the Ace of Cups here, true love. 
Now, I think for a lot of you, the reason you're thinking so hard on this is because of this fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Typically Sagittarius, but the chances of this person having Aries or Leo in their moon or rising, Venus, is a definite. So, with this person, You know, with the Five of Wands here, there's definitely arguments, disputes, just not getting along, you know, maybe fights. Um, just, it could even be petty arguments for some of you. Um, But, you know, I'm so focused on the Three of Swords here because with this fire sign, I feel like... So, the Three of Swords is definitely, sadly, and for those of you that don't want it, I'm sorry, it is a card of endings. Or you were seriously betrayed. Now, those of you that follow me and have seen other decks... You know what this card, it, it, it resembles the same. I mean, it is a red big heart with three swords piercing through the heart, just like this one. And that's major heartbreak, okay? So 99% of the time, this card I see as far as betrayal, cheated on. Um, cheated, really? Cheated on. Whatever it is. I mean, it's a, it is a card of endings. Loss, you know, pain, sorrow, you know. With the five of wands here with the clarifier on her. I mean, it, I, you've been thinking about this for a while. I'm thinking you are a Scorpio, so probably a really long time. And you know, with this chair, let me say this too, with this chariot card. Because, you know, now that I see this, there's triumph over this. Yeah, you're sad, you're depressed, devastated, especially if it was a long-term relationship. You know, to be hurt in that way, I can't even imagine. I mean, it has never happened to me. But I did lose a son in a car accident at 18. And if it feels anything like that, then I know what you're feeling and it's whatever the circumstances are with this card once you start moving there's not going to be much that could stop you you're in control of this situation it's just you need to you know take action you know Ask yourself, I mean, this, whoever this person is for you is really, when I look at all three, of, when I look at these cards with the, with, with the judgment card, judgment is karm, is a karmic relationship. Like this, this relationship is meant to be. It's grounded, it's stable, where, You know, with Temperance, the Three of Swords, all of these cards. This relationship is a disaster with this fire sign. Like, 
fire signs and water signs don't even mix. This is, um, but I think you're finally coming out of that and realizing that, you know, because with judgment here, with this card, this card is all about assessment, letting go of the past. It's a card of great change and opportunities, especially with these two aces here. The chariot, the wheel of fortune. Like this change is, it wouldn't surprise me if you see this video tonight and it starts tomorrow. That's how fast the movement and the change is in this reading. And I'm, I'm videoing this at, um, on Wednesday, the 18th at, I don't know, five o'clock. I started the video, I think around that time. It is the karmic card. You know, maybe you in the past you did, you did think that this fire sign, you know, was your soulmate. You thought this was it. You thought it was a karmic relationship, but it's not. And I, it's it's definitely with this person. I'm feeling it too. There's too many cards, and this is this is your wish card. Wish upon a star. So you want this. This card didn't fly out. Those cards, four cards, did not fly out of the deck for no reason. They they needed they they insisted on being heard. And, and out of those four, you wound up with three major arcana cards. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this positive as far as this person from the past. And not like ever, really, I don't think. A private reading, maybe, yeah. You know, and this, I think you guys are finally ready to do it. You know, this is, you know, changes, opportunities are on the horizon. You know, in relationships, there could be a need for reconciliation if you think the relationship is worth it. If you don't, then you won't do it. Um, you know, and I really do think, too, you know, with this, you know, with the Ace of Swords being of a card of clear thinking, finding out the truth, seeing the truth, hearing the truth, the truth, the truth. I think for some of you, maybe, that this infidelity, this cheating, whatever it is for you, is discovering a painful truth. That's heartbreaking, emotional pain, and definitely an ending. Sorry. Um, you know, and even the Five of Wands, I mean, that's, you know, Leo, I'm not sure if I told you that, but it's, you know, debates. It's not right down battles, but, you know, fiery opinions, Lack of agreement. You could have possibly thought about taking a trip, a small like day trip, but that for some reason got delayed. You're not gonna do that. Um, but then you know the Ace of Cups, at the end of the reading, You know, with this person. Is really. Aside from the fact that it's absolutely beautiful. It's. Um, emotional. I think some of you really do need to trust your inner voice. Trust your intuition. No, I, I, some of you could be hesitant on this. 
for whatever reason. But when you do it, I mean, that's what you get is all this. And it's, it really is meant to happen. With the Wheel of Fortune, the Star, the Ace, I mean, it really is a relationship that's meant to be. And all I'm getting is a water sign. Well, I started with this. We'll look at the bottom card. It's you. The death, the death card is Scorpio, so you're definitely ending something. Maybe it is another water sign. Wow. And the two of cups on the other deck. This person's your soulmate. Five of Cups. It's all you. I don't know. Whoever it is for you. Um, it's really not telling me. But I look at this one. We don't want some of you, some of you guys could actually, um, stay with this, um, oh, there's actually two cards here. Wow, that's strange. Okay, I didn't even realize there was two cards here. So, the Queen of Wands, some of you could possibly stay with this fire sign and try to work it out. Or... The Queen of Pentacles, which is an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, it's one of them. Okay, let's see what... Wow. Dreams coming true. Dreams coming true. There, you guys are definitely going to start over with somebody. A water sign, sun, moon, or rising. Earth sign, sun, moon, or rising. Fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. With this card, it is a card of contentment, reason, gratitude, receive, indulgence. So with this card is of contentment, wishes being fulfilled. Wishes being fulfilled. Your wish card. Scorpio, this is really such a beautiful reading. It does suggest that now you're entering a time of peace, joy, and satisfaction. Be clear about what you want your relationships to look like. And I think you are. You're thinking. God, all, they just all resonate. They all, they all just flow so perfectly with this reading. It's amazing. Um, you know, definitely... Remember to be open to receiving all that the universe is sending your way and express gratitude when your dreams come true. The universe, okay? What the universe is sending your way. This is a universal card. Universe, twist of fate, unexpected things happening out of the blue. Your wish card. With just, with judgment. The ace, I mean, this, um, this relationship with whoever you're going to start. Wow. 
with either, I mean, I do think, you know, being that a fire sign and an earth sign came out, you could be just trying to decide between an earth and a fire. The fire sign that you're already with, but I think you're going to end it with the fire sign. And start something with whoever this person is from the past, which could be an earth sign or a water sign. It depends. And those of you that are looking to get into re into a relationship, I mean, um, there is a lot of potential. There's new beginnings all over. Those of you that are in a relationship. You're definitely with your soulmate. You know, all couples go through crap. The energy is beautiful. And, um, we're going to see what your romance angels. You know, it's so weird. I split the deck. I don't know why I feel the need to show you guys this, but this one, that card is on this side. Okay. As I'm going to start to shuffle. And in this, in my, in my right hand is this card. That is weird. Okay. I just felt the need to share that. Let's see what comes up though. I do, ref I do feel like this is a, is a soulmate connection. Three flipped right up. I don't know why I felt the need to do that. We have four cards here. I need to turn the fan on, guys. Just excuse me one second. I'm like. calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualization visualizations help bring you together I mean I think all the thinking has brought you to a decision but you need to express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture With that proposal, I, you just might do it this week, this month, sorry. I think you will. You deserve love. You are lovable. Maybe you feel, some of you, feel like this fire sign is the best that you could do. Which is so not true. Fire and water just don't mix. I mean, they do, but... Not astrologically. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is coming back to your life. That's a fact. It's definitely a fact. Which is really going to bring you to a whole new Just a whole new, I mean, you're just, all these cards are gloomy. I mean, it's just going to bring you to a, oh. 
You know, and the star card being of hope and guidance, it is a spiritual card for me. I mean, especially in this deck. I do feel like this person is not just touching you emotionally, but on a spiritual level too. Like, I don't know, like maybe you didn't believe in God, but now you do. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Definitely in a relationship, though. And those of you that are in your in a relationship, married, solid, not thinking about leaving, it's balanced. It's a strong, loving relationship, marriage. Aries could go through some changes. Whatever it is for you guys, I mean, it is your dream. It is your dream come true. I can't believe how powerful this reading is. And your wish. And it's destiny. It's karmic. It's balanced. It's, it's st stable. Scorpio. I love it. I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. I hope it helped you guys out a little bit. Um, I really don't have anything else to tell you guys. I think I said it all. I think you guys, it was a long reading, which is fine. I connect with you guys. I, I really do. I, it seems like I do. I guess that's why I get so many, um, Requests for private readings from you guys. I do have a large variety of, or a large um, Scorpios. I have a lot of Scorpio subscribers for sure. And I thank you guys for that. It means a lot. I'm glad I'm connecting with you guys. Okay. Um, I would love your comments on what you think about the water elements. Have a fantastic month. You guys should. Your dreams are coming true. It's beautiful, really. Okay, guys, thank you. I will see you guys back here soon with the Morning Oracle, oracle Cards. Bye-bye.